title, Antonio Felix da Costa, the champion of Formula E. I reckon we should talk to him. What do you think? I think the team are going to be all over it straight away. A one-two, mighty performance. So Antonio Felix da Costa across the line in second place. Let's see what he Just one day, guys. Oh my god! Awesome job, guys. Unbelievable. Let's speak to him. Uh, is that the uh, is that the champion? This is Dario and TV. <laughs> oh, I've lost for words, man. <laughs> that is the first. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, the Asset Cheater, for, for bringing me the best chance of my life. I have no words, guys. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the chance. Let's talk to his teammate, John Eric Burke. John Eric, congratulations on winning the race. That was a fantastic battle. Ah, uh, yeah, thanks, thanks. Uh, but, uh, I mean, the winner here is Antonio, so huge congrats to him for winning the championship. He should enjoy the day. He's done a, a mega job and, uh, yeah. As well as Steve, I believe we won the championship, so that's quite a nice day. Yes, it is, Jeff. Congratulations. You did, you, you did, you did a really great day, so. One, two. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh. Firstly, cannot believe Da Costa did not swear. Because exactly. he is he is the king of swearing on the radio. We never fade up his radio because all, all he does is F and Jeff. And, and he's he, not meaning it in a bad way, it's just no, his vocabulary. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's but what happens when you learn English from mechanics. Hello and welcome to our Parisian studio and to the two-time double championship winning DS Tichy Tars Formula E World Championship Season 7 launch. It is an extraordinary feat, clearly. You, I guess that you all know that DS Tichy Tars conquered both the drivers and the team's title for the second time in a row for last season. Antonio Felix da Costa brought back, of course, the driver's trophy. And thanks to very good results, the double champion Jean Eric Verne uh, brought back the team's trophy with two races to go, a new Formula E record. So, of course, speaking of the championship results, video is always better than words. So let's check out together the best moments of last season. This racing, fighting in the championship, is something that really uh, keeps me alive. I'm always going to fight everything I have to win. Big change for me, joining the, the championship winning team. Big trust in these guys. They've showed everyone in this paddock how to do it the last two seasons, so hopefully we can go again. Now all I want is, is more. It's back. The world's first all-electric race series returns. Thanks up. We go green in Diria. The Costa may fancy a look, he does. The grassy squeezes him, the Costa forces his way through. Oh, and then side by side further back as Jean Eric Verne sent it on Gianni. And we go green in Santiago. He's going up the inside here, Jean Eric Verne. Oh, the that's Costa for the lead. Each other. The Costa forces his way past. Antonio Felix Da Costa, his sixth career podium in Formula E. And we go green in Mexico City. Here comes De Costa to the inside. Oh, De Vries is closing the door aggressively. Now he's locked up massively. And that means De Costa is second, Boemi is third, Bern is fourth. These all electric race cars are about to do battle on the streets of Marrakesh. De Costa goes to pole with the fastest lap time we've seen all day. Bern is up into third place. This is quite the drive from the reigning champion from 11th on the grid. De Costa out of the final corner, he wins the race! And that is the first race win for Antonio Felix Da Costa for his new team, DS to Cheetah. A third place finish to Jean Eric Verne, probably one of his toughest races, you have to say. Well, I get the feeling that might be the last time we're racing for a while, so stay safe out there. We are back, the first Berlin e Prix of the most intense season finale in motorsport history. There's 180 points on offer over these six races. 
It's the Costa versus Vern and it's pole. That <laughs> might have been one of the best qualifying laps I've seen in Formula E. And De Costa takes the first win in Berlin. Yahoo! And here comes De Costa across the line and he goes on pole for the second race in Berlin. Across the line, Antonio Felix De Costa wins again. Yes, Van Zandt Three in a row, amazing. Absolutely stunning stuff. What is Jean Eric Vern going to do here? Surely it's pole position by De Cool half a second. <laughs> Jean Eric Vern in third position. The Frenchman just ahead of his teammate Antonio Felix Da Costa. Vern on pole, Da Costa alongside him on the front row of the grid. If he finishes where he starts, he wins the title tonight. And on the streets of Berlin at Tempelhof Airport, it is a remarkable achievement. The Estagita wrap up the drivers and the team's title. Antonio Felix Da Costa, the champion of Formula E. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you, the Estagita, for bringing me the best chance of my life. Just two to go here at Berlin at Tempelhof Airport. For the last time, we go green in Berlin. Oh, that's a tight one from Vern. And there's Vern across the line in seventh place. Brilliant drive to secure third in the championship. The whole season now over. Antonio Felix da Costa and Diaz Sashita, the champions of season six. What a season. I mean, I still have goosebumps looking at all these memories that we will, of course, cherish forever. And actually, the team is already looking forward for season seven and preparing very carefully. Uh, uh, and of course, with all the performance that they want to put in season seven. To kick off this launch, we're very honored to have a message from the chairman and the founder of Formula E, Alejandro Agag. Hello, I'm Alejandro Agag. I'm the founder and CEO of the ABB Formula A Championship. And it's a pleasure to be today here at your launch. It's fantastic to see uh, a team like DS Techita uh, contribute, to push uh, every time uh, the technology forward, to push uh, the movement towards electrification, and really to be so successful because uh, you guys really killed it last year. So I hope you will be very competitive the year, this year again. Uh, but, uh, you know, give me some competition between everybody because um, that will make the championship uh, fantastic. Great job done last year, uh, Felix, uh, Jeff, uh, all the team, and uh, look forward to next season. Thank you very much, Alejandro. It's now time to welcome on stage for the first guest this afternoon. Uh, we are delighted to welcome DS Automobile CEO, Beatrice Fouché. Hello, Hello and welcome, Beatrice. Hello, nice to see you here. It's Happy to be here. Happy today. to be here, uh, definitely. OTC. Definitely. I mean, well done. Congratulations again, if I may tell you. I mean, wow, two times this double title in yeah. a row in front of the biggest automotive constructors. I guess that you're very proud to be at the head of this young and challenging brand. Definitely, I'm more than very proud, uh -huh. Sandy. More than very proud. So I'm proud, grateful, and, and thrilled at the same time. OK. Proud, proud of the team and of the drivers for the fantastic performance they achieved in 2020. I'm also grateful of the entire commitment of the team, and I'm thrilled because the new season 2021 will arrive very soon. And, and in fact, yes, Automobile, Automobile has made its mark in a Formula E history mm -hmm. with the new double title won in 2020, Absolutely. which is an amazing story, definitely. And this has been possible thanks to men and women mm -hmm. working together with a very strong team spirit mm -hmm which shows us, allows us uh, today to be benchmark in 100% electric competition. And uh, for sure, we have uh, 2021 in uh, front of us, mm -hmm. and this will be uh, an amazing story as well. So um, this is what I wanted to say. I, I remember that also we started uh, in 2015, the, the journey yes. in uh, Formula E, uh -huh. and it was a great decision. 
and Formula E becomes a carbon neutral uh, certification uh, uh, championship mm -hmm. in 2020, which is very strong for us. And, and obviously, we are more than committed to stay here in Formula E. I hope you are. I mean, we want this third title, uh, right? This third double title. Uh, third, third one, third one, <laughs> yes, definitely. Third time in a row. Absolutely, Beatrice. I wish for you, all my fingers crossed. I have a question. What is the link between the DS technology and the DS range? Yes, yes, definitely. You know well that DS Automobile is willing to move to electrification, strongly to mm -hmm. electrification. Mm -hmm. Today on the road, we already have few cars electrified, so DS3, DS7, and DS9 to come very soon. And each of them has an electrified mm -hmm. powertrain, mm -hmm. which is a, a very strong story for the brand. And this is obviously linked with Formula E. So we get some uh, deep knowledge of Formula E. Mm -hmm. there are secret recipe. Absolutely. I can't speak about no, that today. No, of course today. we cannot. And you can put possible. them in the DS range. Absolutely. This is what we did. And uh, today we are very proud of that because mm -hmm. obviously we are the most electrified brand sold Absolutely. in Europe. Yes. And uh, with as little as 80 grams of CO2 per kilometer, which is a very strong improvement. As said before, I'm very proud of that. Thank you so much, Beatrice, for your nice words of introduction for this incredible launch. It is a huge achievement uh, for the brand and it actually perfectly aligns, of course, how DS is fully committed to Formula E. Let's actually talk a bit more about the Formula E and let's welcome on this stage the DS Tichita team principal, Mark Preston, and the DS performance director, Xavier Mestelampinon. Hello and welcome. Here are, Hello. yes, we have our little marks here. Thank you again for being with us uh, today. Congratulations again, of course, for this incredible season. Uh, I'm going to start with you, Mark. You had an incredible season, of course, double champions for the second time. I suppose that your objectives are actually the same for season seven. Yeah, I mean, the competition's really high and it's obviously getting more and more as, as the seasons go on. But yeah, we can't do anything more than quite a time. But the third uh, championship in both, both championships. Mm -hmm. We are definitely waiting for that. So Xavier, we're going to discover this. The car, it's just behind me on the Discover. We're going to reveal it in a few seconds. The library is actually new, but the powertrain is the same. Could you tell us why you took this decision to actually keep the DSC 10th FE20 for the start of the new season? Why that? <coughs> yes, indeed. Following the health crisis, uh, the FIA uh, changed the rules on allow each manufacturer, in fact, okay. to increase the life of the season six homologation. Mm -hmm. So, uh, regarding uh, this opportunity, we took the decision, in fact, to develop two cars. Okay. So, for the first beginning of the coming season, mm -hmm. so for the first two events, two events. Riant and uh, Santiago, mm -hmm. we will use the season six homologation, but with a brand new software. Okay. So, the winning car with a new software. And as everybody knows, the software is very important in Formula E, maybe the key of the performance, because you can manage your energy, but also the ending on the car. Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, at the Rome Ypres, we will introduce the new, uh, the new homologation, so mm -hmm. the new uh, DS uh, Etens EFI 21, yes. uh, with a brand new powertrain with some ambitious uh, technology. And uh, very exciting because I know that both drivers uh, have already tested uh, the car and uh, it seems to be very fast, so I'm quite optimistic. As said Mark, we are here to, to fight again for the victory, this is our target. And um, I know that we are, uh, we will have again everything in our hand to, to do it. So let's go. Well, I can't wait to have this season start on the 16th of July in Santiago in Chile. Thank you so much for, we will see you a bit later, Mark, after revealing this car. We can't wait to see what you have in store for this season. Now it's time to welcome the DS Tichita drivers, season six champion Antonio Felix da Costa and season four and five champion Jean-Éric Verne.
Welcome to those two champions. It's an honor for me to have you here with, with us today on the stage. I mean, it's the first time in the Formula E history to have two champions in the same team, so congratulations again. My first question might be a bit discreet, but what is the recipe to become a champion? Maybe start with you, Jean-Éric. Uh, I think, first of all, it's uh, fantastic to be here. Uh, it looks like the season is, is ready to, uh, to start again. It's been a long time, so mm -hmm. uh, it's always this kind of thing as a driver that you're looking forward. Um, the car presentation and uh, you know to get the excitement pumping and uh, and soon we're gonna be racing again yes as for your question i don't think there is any uh secret i think it's all down to uh to one unity uh which is uh, together with the team the drivers the guy that are not on the track but you know they stay in the in the factory mm -hmm. Um, it's it's a uh, it's a lot of work, a lot of work in the simulator. Long mm -hmm. It's a long journey, yes, of course, and uh, it's uh, the little points in the middle of the season also that makes the difference at the end. And uh, you know there is no secret; it's it's hard work, and I'm sure Antonio uh, can testify that now. As do well. you agree, Antonio, with that, or do you have a little secret recipe? <laughs> no, absolutely. In what side, you know, there's a, there's a big home in the factory to help us to shine. And then for us, you know, as a driver, it's great to have people like It seems like we have a little microphone problem. I'm sorry, Antonio, we're going to just have to do this again. Is it okay for the microphone? Sorry, we're live. This is, of course, what happens on live. So it let's... Seems, seems okay? No? We're going to have another mic on it's this like side. It's live. Yes, it's racing live. That happens. I mean, we don't want to miss anything of your answer, Antonio. So it's, I'm sorry, we're going to have to do this again. So this is a little secret recipe that you want to share. This one? This one? Is it on? This is on. Yeah. This is on. I don't know why this, this stuff always happens to me. <laughs> it's a trend. It's a life trend. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, like Jeff said, it's a, a big part of it is, is just down to, to hard work. Mm -hmm. And there's a big group of boys and girls that are back in Paris making sure through the winter and the off season that we under this cover there is a, a quick car um, and then for us you know it's it's inside of us and, and people like Jeff who set the bar really high for the, all the other drivers to, to try and beat it and uh, you know we push each other so um, we're born with it I guess and uh, you know now it's uh, it's the target on our back after this team has, has won the last two championships we have a big target on our back absolutely um, that's a pressure is that pressure or excitement it's pressure, but it's good. You know, yes. if there was no pressure, it meant no one cared. So uh, yes. it's, it's a good thing. I agree. I stick with you. I have another question. Um, it's going to be the old powertrain for the first two, two, uh, two races. Does that make you confident for the first races? Um, yeah, I mean, there's obviously ups and downs. So we're not taking the, the new season seven car straight to the mm -hmm. first couple of races. Um, but on the positive side, we know exactly what we have going, going racing. So I think we can really hit the ground running. Um, it's the same car we raced in, in the last season and where we won the races in Berlin. So, um, and we've improved it actually, we've kept on moving forwards with it. And um, you know, the new car is just around the corner, we'll probably have it for rounds uh, Round four or five or yes. something. So, um, and that's another step forward. So I'm sure we'll still be competitive. I'm sure everyone else has done a step forward. So yes. I'm expecting the, com the, the competitors to be, to be right up there and give us a really, really hard time. You know, it wouldn't be fun any other mm -hmm. way, so. And I'm sure that you will prove that this was a good choice. Jean-Éric, as a double champion, I mean, you know what it takes to, to win with the team. What makes this team, DS Tichitar, so special? Um, I think the, the one of the main thing is that we may be a manufacturer, but we probably one of the, the smallest team in Formula E, and that mm -hmm. gives us a huge flexibility for yes. the engineers to, know, to, to do what they want to do. And also, you know, coming from the top for the big boss, they have a fantastic understanding also in how um, you know how they should leave the engineers on the driver walk and when an engineer is thinking I have an idea that can make us faster well we don't have to wait six months to have it yes. you know, we walk straight away on it and I think it's um, so that's the, a quality the, actually you know, it's, 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 uh, it's actually a, a huge quality mm -hmm. that we have in this team uh, and of course in, in the DNA of our, of our team you know together with Tichita and, and DS uh, we have the, the DNA of, of uh, always wanting more, wanting to win. We are the first one being disappointed when we finish second. We are the first one to come back to the factory when we win, to say uh, to replay the race and know, you know, detail the race and uh, know where we could have been faster. So yeah, it's a combination of everybody working in this yes. team that really brings uh, the success. Yeah, the champion's mindset, but also the team's mindset. Antonio, the Formula E Championship becomes World Championship. What does that bring to the competition? 
Um, yeah, it's an extra spice on top yes. of the on top of the cake. Uh-huh. Um, it's basically a formality. I mean, we're gonna go racing in the same places and with the same hunger to to win. But yeah, we get to call ourselves uh, world champions if uh, if we get to do all this again. So I think um, it's a bigger trophy. Maybe a bigger trophy. You think so? That's nice. Maybe this size? <laughs> we deserve bigger. We deserve bigger trophies. It's coming. Big, it's going to become world. I mean, it's going to be huge. It, it will take the two of us to. You won't be able it. to put it in a car. Share. For sure. <laughs> Jean-Luc, the the team won some pretty heavy in pretty heavy com- conditions. I mean, opposite very uh, largest brands in the automotive industry. Do you fear the competition, or are you excited to show them what you've got and who's going to be your your, your biggest rival this season? Um. Well, I think we should fear them. Uh, there are some huge manufacturers in front of us, uh, Mercedes, Audi, Nissan, and you know the, the other ones that all have a big chance of winning. But uh, you know we have a team uh, in, in the Formula E championship that is uh, winning absolutely everything over the last decade in mm-hmm. Formula One, and it's the same team of people. So we should mm-hmm. really expect to have a tough competition for them. And uh, we're always trying to consider ourselves as the underdogs as well, and uh, you know to always keep working harder than the, the other best. ones, uh, trying to always uh, be better than what mm. we used to be. And uh, But I expect the competition to be very tough. I mean, there are some fantastic teams in, uh, around us, uh, very, very tough competition. And um, yeah, you're only as good as your last race, so we need to, to work to always improve. Absolutely. Let's come back just on the car that we're going to reveal in a few ke- in a few seconds. Antonio, could you have a word for the for this new library, maybe? Um, it's black and gold. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> That's too warm. Yeah, those two words. That's two, two words. words. And for you, <laughs> Aggressive, I would say. <laughs> you can say black, you can say gold. You say more aggressive. Okay, what do you say? You know, to me, uh, a beautiful car is a fast car. So as long as it's fast, I don't mind. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sure it is fast. Thank you so much, guys. You stay with me. We're going to reveal the car. But before this, we're going to see this unique animation before seeing it in real. That was definitely epic. Guys, I think now it's time to reveal the car. Jean-Éric Antonio, it's your turn. Let's see what's under that cover. Wow. It is definitely more aggressive. Congratulations, what a beautiful car. If you want to come join me again, What's your first reaction like this when you when you see it? You still think it's aggressive? I mean, uh, it looks fast. The, it look it, lo- it does look fast. fast. I, like I, I agree like with you. I, I agree with you. It's the best one we, we we've had, so <laughs> very happy. Good. So that means improvement every year, then. That's what you yeah, were saying. Yeah, and you know, I mean, the people that designed the car, the one designing the DS, and the, you know, the, the the look of the DS are just getting uh, better and better. And uh, it's nice also to give those guys a chance to design the livery of our car, and I'm very pleased with the job that they've done. Very nice. Mark, maybe you would like to join us back on stage to comment the reveal of this new DS E10 FE20. So, does it microphone work? Second one that works. Let's see. 
children. Oh, no, <laughs> it works now. So what can you tell? I mean, what a beautiful library. Definitely more offensive. I mean, there's the black uh, halo that will highlight the drivers. Uh, but I can also see some updates with the partners, of course, uh, on the car. Uh, how important are they, I mean, in this success story? Yeah, I mean, this sport is uh, very much a team sport, and that includes everybody, the drivers, the people behind the scenes, all of our all of our team, but also the partners that you can see here on the car. Every partner here is working with us in, in different ways to, to make the car go faster and to make our job easier and to make the driver's job, e job easier and to help us win. So it's a really amazing partnership between um, all, all the people on the car. Thank you very much, everyone, for being on stage with me. It is the end of this launch, and of course, I have my fingers crossed, and I can't wait to see you guys in this car in Santiago on uh, January 16th. But before this, we will see you this weekend already for the test, of course, the uh, official Formula E test in Valencia. We hope that you back home, you will, of course, encourage this incredible team. And whatever happens, I can tell you that DS Tichita clearly is definitely ready to fight again and to win again. Until then, take care and goodbye.